Hi. And now in this third segment of the video course by Good News Ministries on the joy of love, I'd like to cover the end of the first chapter. This is starting with the end of paragraph 29. Pope Francis, in his great wisdom, says, The family is called to join in daily prayer. And before I go on, let me stop there. Do you spend time in daily prayer with your spouse, with your children, with whomever is in your home as part of your family? And maybe you have family members who don't want to be part of this daily prayer. So pray for them. But don't be afraid to invite them to prayer, especially when they're going through some kind of a trial, some kind of a hardship that challenges their peace. There's your opportunity. Daily prayer is so important. Now, hopefully you are having a daily prayer time, but that's not as powerful as daily prayer with your spouse, if you have a spouse, and with your children, if you have children at home. Because where two or more are gathered, God is there in the midst of that gathering and there is more prayer power in united communal prayer than there is in individual prayer. You see, prayer is a foundation and a very important foundation. Prayer is protection against whatever hardships. And I'm going to recommend that prayer be the first thing or very early in the day that you do because it becomes the foundational protection for the rest of the day. There are a lot of enemies of God. There's a lot of forces against the family. There is a lot of challenges that distract us from prayer that don't want us to pray. Praying together is our victory over these challenges. Praying together, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to spend daily time praying together. And that's what Pope Francis is trying to tell us. And he goes on to say that the family is called, and by the way, it's not recommended, it's called. We are called by God himself to do this. Why? Because of the protection it gives us. And because it connects us with God and his guidance and comfort, uh, whatever it is that we need from God. But also, a family is called to read the Word of God together. We need to connect with Jesus in the Word. We need to connect with whatever is in Scripture or in a book like this, uh, a church document. Church teachings are loaded with Scriptures. There is where learning is. There is where strength comes. And to share in Eucharistic communion. Now, how many couples, how many families do we know, maybe even our own, that only one parent is taking the kids to church or one spouse is going to Catholic Mass? And I emphasize the value of Catholic Mass because of Jesus' presence in the Eucharist. The Eucharist is communion. It's called communion for a reason. It puts us in communion with God and with each other, which is why it's so important that we go together to communion. It's because it is the communion time. It is the quintessential, most powerful, ultimate experience of unity communion with union communion with jesus who empowers us to have good relationships union with each other i don't have time to talk about it now but everything in the mass brings us into that union beginning with the gathering song the penitential rite and everything else we develop greater union when we go to church together this makes a big difference in how we live the love that the Holy Spirit wants to give us for each other 
and to give us through each other. God bless you.